Good morning, guys. Happy Christmas Eve vlog. We're starting it with a game of chess, you know. Get that brain ticking. We was going to play last night. But we watched a few uh, channels on Netflix. So you will see that all in Vlogmas. Mama G just woke up. Oh, you're going all out today. Okay. I've got my brain food. And then today, what does Christmas Eve involve, guys? I don't actually know. We know that we're going to be doing the boxes. And slicing the meat up. Because that is something we have to do. Oh, I thought he was going to get me then. How? I don't know. I've got to be very careful because <coughs> you're going to go diagonal. So, yes. Happy Christmas Eve. How is it this time of the year already? card person than chess person <laughs> we just done gin rummy and i actually won both ones we What's need to start playing play? for money what only 50 notes yeah just the red ones <laughs> <laughs> or we could play in terms of forfeits forfeits mm. yeah you have been like my chauffeur for the day or I'd have to do all the cleaning for the day. So we could we could actually make this really fun. Oh. We were saying about having the big chest. Right. Full of games. Right, now we're playing 21, which I didn't realise was actually back jack. So let's get going and uh, see who comes out on top with this one. Right, I don't think um, the card game is going to last long, guys, because I've just won another two. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. Stick. If you've got 21, I'm throwing these up in the air. <laughs> Stick. If they can see what I've got. I'm sticking. Not interesting. I'm feeling the warmth of the card. <laughs> the warmth of the card. Gone the twist. Bust. 20. <laughs> if you could... Oh, the, card, the cards have been thrown, guys. The arms are folded. The cards have been thrown and the arms have been folded. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, now, literally, we are just going to be playing games. Not 21. No, not 21, it goes fast. <laughs> <laughs> you was, said you were going to teach me sevens, wasn't it? I'll teach you how to play sevens. Right, well. let me learn that. If you guys know how to uh, play sevens, let us know down below. And it'll have the uh, yeah, thumbs up or it'll be an absolute disaster and I want to go back to chess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like sevens. <laughs> it's like Squid Game. I just said if we got to the end of Squid Games and it was for a game of sevens, I'd think, really? You've got all that intellect and it comes down to a game of chance and a game of what cards you dealt. It's not like, say, Blackjack or Jim Rummy where you have to kind of think and like, do thinking. I stay or... Yeah, but it's the cards that you dealt with. Right, it's the same as Jim and Rummy and Blackjack. No. It's about using your brain. Yeah, he goes, hold on, use your brain. I was like, what do you mean use your brain? <laughs> and that's nice. Mum has popped off to Dada. She's gone to drop his presents down. She was like, leave the heating on. I was like, okay. So I need to woo, wrap her presents today. That's going to be fun. I'll help you. And then if we... I'm going to try and sort out that bit there because I want to move the... Shay's lawn shirts, we can put our presents under the tree because Dan's wrapped mine and I've wrapped Dan's. And then tomorrow we'll probably just chill in bed. That's the plan, ain't it? Open them in bed. Mm -hmm. That needs to be able to get to the Christmas tree to do that. 
So uh, I'm just gonna eat some of my wings. Oh yeah, he's got all the the currency was Rosie's yeah. chocolate. <laughs> that was the currency today. Um. Oh, you've gone for a strawberry one. You can take the strawberry one. What was your favourites? I like the um, hazel whirls. Anything with the hazel nuts in. Like, I'm not really a Rosie's fan. Like, strawberry cream and orange. Mm. Hazel caramel? I don't really, not really caramel because of my tongue bar. See, one thing that mum hasn't got this year, and I'm very... I'm going to have to ask if they still do them. Remember you used to get the bags of dairy milk whole nut, but you'd get bags just purely of the dairy milk whole nuts? No. No. <gasps> Used to get them every year, but she hasn't got any this year, so I don't know if they don't do them anymore. But yeah, we've actually been playing games for about an hour and a half. Really? It's just gone ten. We oh, started. Wow. It was actually twenty past ten, and we started about half eight ish. Almost two hours. We played chess, blackjack, gin, sevens. Twenty one. Twenty one. So yeah. Oh my belly. It's a. Uh, it's been a productive morning, and think all them games are not one game console in sight. I love that. That is going to be our morning. <laughs> uh, and as I say, I have was actually. That a dig? Huh? Was that a star dig? Me never. <laughs> I'm just saying it's nice to not have games consoles when playing games. It's kind of like the old-fashioned way. I've really, really lost that um, snooty guys. He's like I'm lovely and toasty under there. <laughs> I actually am. <laughs> I said it might just be where I unzip it and then jump in because literally you can fit both of us in there. It's so snug. Mm. No, zip yourself up. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're gonna um maybe wrap presents. I've got right mum's card out. I've also got a don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> You'll hurt yourself. <laughs> and then I've also got right Dan's card out, which I'm not actually giving it to him till tomorrow which you probably think why well, give a Christmas card on Christmas Day but I need to write two of his presents in there snap oh okay so you've got like because some of Dan's presents ain't physical presents like I have nothing to physically give him for it snap oh okay oh I'm excited now <laughs> right let's get wrapping Christmas Eve! Mum's still poorly. <laughs> we, I've got to wrap Mum's gifts. And also, we're doing a concoction. We're hungry, but not quite hungry, but not hungry for a full thing. So, Mum's just come back with a baguette. And my thinking is, we're going to use some sausages that we've got from the butchers. We're going to do chips in the air fryer and then put them in the baguette with gravy, maybe melted cheese, a bit of mustard. Well, you... <laughs> she's she's looking at the reading. Um, the games. I I need to get better at sevens. Someone um was very happy at their wins of made up for the sevens. Uh, let's just say 21. that. <laughs> yeah, twenty one. I would like abolish that. And now I'm like, I want a games board. Like I want a casino set. But the task now is cutting all the meat up. And sorting the freezers up to put them in, as I say, because we just have turkey, because it's only me and mum. So we'll do a nice slab of turkey, and then the rest of it, slice up into the freezer, and that will pretty much be our Sunday roast meats, probably for two, three months. Okay. We averted away from the gravy, guys, because it's a little bit jam-packed, as you can tell. And now we're going to watch food. Probably watch Leah or Beard Meats Food, because... I know they've got their, like, we saw one the other day and it was like 100 maple things, or this Gary Eats. So we'll look at the big Christmas food haul. Let's we'll just watch food or travel. <laughs> oh, upcoming theme park worldwide Christmas spectacular and quiz. Tonight oh. at 7 o'clock, should we do a quiz? Let's. <laughs> do our quiz. Let's have a look. Where's some food ones? I became, oh God. Cruise the Christmas market. It was one on it. Oh, Noble Santorini. I have a lot of them um, travel places as well, guys. Mechanica. Decorating vlog. Where is the food vlog, Mrs. Ones? I've been seeing. Oh, yeah. Wood fired pizza on a cold day in Dublin. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm going to do a bit of food review. We watched the uh, 100 Maple Pig Blankets. Bit of food review club. 
Is it Christmas? Nearly. Almost. You're the Christmas spirit. Wrapping present time. That um Christmas sausage and chip thing weren't a bad share. Nice butcher sausages. And um, we just put our presents under the tree. Guys, do you remember last year when I had the um, red envelope? Look! So we've got one from me to Dan and Dan to me. And safe to say we definitely have had to move the unit over there because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to get to it. But now it is wrapping mum's bits. Dan's just securing the goods for mums. I mean, can you tell what it may be? We do love a bit of drink in this house. Oh, and guess what I've just done? I put a nice little bottle of Baileys in the fridge. Oh. I mean, I'm just thinking there's three bottles there. We need to, uh, we will be making our way through them. Don't you worry, guys. So, uh, yes, now is I've got right mum and Dan's card out because the cards, as I say, Dan's actually got to put presents in my card and I've got to put presents in Dan's card. Have you already read yours? Oh, that's I'm okay. I'm not doing it here. I'll go in the kitchen and do it. Yeah, we'll have to do it separate places. Mm -hmm. But now we need to uh, wrap mum's presents because I get very flustered. What? I don't... No, pardon me. I just get very flustered wrapping presents. Yeah? <laughs> yeah I'm shit at it. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, let's cue a time lapse. Oh, we're chasing snowflakes as they're falling down And follow Rudolph fall across the town Lady with me under the mistletoe While Santa's busy saying ho 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 We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up by the fireplace just knock sank off already as we get older you know me and mama g we put the uh presents out the night before so it's not really night time it's only about i think three o'clock but me and dan we wrapped mums because i did need some assistance thankfully he helped me um i just said to her i said did dada put anything about your present in the car she was like nah i was like oh so he forgot he forgot so i have had to put it in her card but she's not going to be able to now open that card until tomorrow which she likes to open a christmas card christmas eve but she'll be able to because dada has forgot to put it in so yes i'm loving the wrapping paper this year we've gone for gonks we've got gingerbread and then guys look at this <laughs> she's got baby yoda christmas paper and she's got dan's on there as well of course there are two well, there's three red envelopes. One is um, Mum's card and then two Virgin Days because what is Christmas without a Virgin experience day or two? So, yeah, they're some of her, like, main ones. And then Dada has got me and Mum the same thing. I already know it because I had to book it. It was something that I saw and I was like, oh, that could be fun for me and Mum to go do. So, yes, I'm just... Oh, guys, I love the tree. 
I wish we could have it up all year round. I just love it. Everyone, I've had a few people asking what the special little boy is. That was actually Elvis's little stocking he used to play with. So we keep that on the tree because he's no longer with us now, bless him. And then, yeah, some of the favourite, favourite little baubles. Like there we've got the rose, the reef inside. That's the glass one. Absolutely love that. You know me, I love all like the stick-on bits and the flowers. That's a bit of me. Mum does the baubles and everything. But yeah, I'm not really in Christmas PJs yet, guys. I'm in my Simpsons ones. But me and Mum... She's going to come back. She's just popped around to see her friend, give her a presents. Once she's back and we've had our bath, we will be doing Christmas Eve boxes. Yes, that tradition is still happening. As I say, Dan gets the front row to it this year. He gets to see the conundrums that we stitch each other up with. Um, I'm hoping that my hair doesn't run on these new pyjamas because they are white. So I'm going to have to have my hair up or I might have my hair plaited. We'll have to see, but yeah. That is all done. As I say, you would have seen a little um, overview of our tree. But, yeah, our tree has got the presents on too. So it is all, all getting ready for festivities. We've all been Santa Claus. We've all been very nice. Um, I took a while writing dance card at because I was like, oh, no. I had to find details for the presents. He come in with two cards, one that says Shan, and then one that says let's do this, and I'm like, oh no, what has he done? <laughs> this is very, very adventurous. So, um, yes, I've put two of his in his card when you open his underneath. One of them's not until 2025, though, but I had to book it now. So, yeah, we shall see how it goes. So, probably the next thing you'll see, maybe be a little time lapse of a bath, and then, yeah. A little time lapse of a bath and then we will get in. Don't really know what we're gonna have to eat. We might just cook like the odd bit spring rolls, mozzarella dippers, everything like that. A picky bit because tomorrow, by God tomorrow, we're gonna be having a lot of food. So yeah, happy Christmas Eve, my lovelies, and I shall see you in a bit. Right. I didn't realise Dan had set up drafts behind me. So as I scooted on back, my fat ass took them all off. So <laughs> So I need to put them all back on. Go for the Baileys. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll get the Baileys. Let me do that. Mm -hmm. Let me do that. We are all wrapped up. Presents are done. Dan setting up drafts. And we're going to have some Baileys. Let's have a look. Oh Dan, we've got to wash up quickly. Oh, I'll wash up then. <laughs> I completely forgot about the washing up guys let's uh move that in there i don't really want to get my um thingy bobs all wet and dirty but yeah that was actually a um really nice little forget thing that we've done it's okay i've got it do you want to sort the babies out we do the babies not a lot because you're on the bike tomorrow remember yeah, that's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Now, do you want to use them or do you want to use the Santa cups? Or should we put the Santa cups back in? What Santa cups? The, they might be over on that far end coffee machine. You know the Santa glass mugs? The ones that are like huge that are actually supposed to be palm pots. How much of that are you? What, the whole lot? No, 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 no. I only have about half. Oh. Just a half, just a little bit. Okay. Potato, potato. So, how do we play drafts? Is it the same? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it's not the same. Oh. But it's the same basis. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Is this one where you're going to beat me? No. Oh, okay. Oh, I like this one if I can win. Is that your one? I take it. Okay. <laughs> and also, I think tomorrow, guys. Oh God. Oh, we could, oh no, because you don't. I'll probably do mine tomorrow because Mum and Dad aren't really a fan of my wine. Mum's a bit um better. Dad, I don't like it, and Dan don't really like it. We need to try and find a mold cider kit. There's not that much left. Oh my goodness. 
Leave, no, leave a little glass for mum. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if you guys know where you can get a mould cider kit, please do let us know because it's safe. That's what Dan likes, but to get a mould cider, you can't really... Oh, I'm just slice my hand on that knife. Oh, that would have been disastrous. You did say to mum that knives. Ah? He did say to mum that there's knives in there. Yeah, I know, and then I've completely forgotten just whacking my hand in, and I'm like, oh! No, we take, we're not taking any food in, are we? No, of course not. Are you take, I thought you were taking mince pies. What ones? <laughs> I don't know, I thought you'd be taking any of them in. All the snowy doughies. We've um, stocked up on the uh, snack basket. We've stocked up on that. I might even take uh, the gingerbread house in, actually. I'm going to put that behind there. God. This is why I don't do washing up often, guys, because I just... Ew. I feel like I need to empty that out. But, the thing is, right, if I move, I don't want a dishwasher. I want my... I mean, you guys know I've got tons and tons of sponges, so I need to use them. But, yeah, I think that might be on pause for the moment. And I want to get a few little things sorted out first. And then... <laughs> <laughs> you can just see that guys, he's just took the whole, what you got under your, <laughs> he's got something under the hooded blanket and he took the whole tray of sweets and desserts of that, but um, yeah, we're on the moving front, I think, I'm going to, unless that offers it, I'm not going to stretch myself to where it is manageable, but then some months it might not be, like, for example, look at this month, I had the tyre go, so... If that was to happen, I don't want to be uh, putting myself up the creek without a paddle, you know, guys? So, uh, yes. We're going to leave that there. I'm going to go back, play drafts. Um, see what happens. We've got some crumpets up. We've got the snowflake cheesecake out. So that's fine. Yeah. Time to stuff our face, drink loads of Baileys, and have a chill Christmas Eve. And then we will be back with the Christmas Eve Foxes. Dan has a message for you all once he comes back from, um... No, I don't. No, you, you didn't just had say, vlog this to your viewers. Yeah. I lost every single game. Every single I don't like checkers or drafts, so I was ready to swipe the board on that game. <laughs> I really do not like that. That was... the easiest one out of two. Really? Yeah. But you're so limited with moves. Oh, God. Mm-mm. That was um, not a bit of me. The time now is actually getting on a bit. It is. Is it bad? Oh my god, it's actually caught past four. I'm thinking like it's six o'clock. I said I think it's because the Baileys is distorting my um, actions. I would be watching loads of food documentaries. So, not gonna lie, guys, I want to drive to South Shields and have some fish and chips at the Coleman Seafood Temple. And. We have some oysters, and I'm not really feeling like we've been eating all the junk food as well. So I, feel, I feel that's taken me out. Look at my fangs, fangs. Um. So yeah, I feel like I'm a little bit. Oh, the go. I'm very sleepy. But presents were wrapped. That's fabulous. I think Dan's cracking open the Baileys again. I just hope the bottle. And then, yeah, as I say, the unit's chaise lounge has been moved, so at least that way we can get to the tree. Even though we're going to literally just get that and bring it out for having presents on the bed, which you'll probably see in the vlogmas episode. But... <sighs> I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I think I'm still sleepy from Friday night. Did you want to be chosen, Ross? No, I'm alright, thanks. It's on some water. I said you distorted my um, gaming ability with alcohol. You 
You didn't even touch it. Mm. You've had what? I said, and we're watching all these um food videos, and now I want to go South Shields for oysters. The oyster prices are cheap. Uh, six for eighteen pound. Considering how much we paid when we went. Squirries. That's it. It was. What did we get? Five. No, no, no it was six three. Pound each. It was three we got. We had one each, and then you had the one with the shallot and red Tabasco wine. red wine vinegar thing. That's it. And okay. there up north, the oysters are three fifty each. I'm fine, thank you. Three fifty each, or six for eighteen pound, and we paid eighteen pound for three. Dan's uh, tucking into Mr. Kipling's All Butter Mince Pies. These are supposed to be Mr. Kipling's best ever. I think that's a bold statement from Mr. Mm, Kipling. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. We're literally just pottering around. We do have a quiz though at 7. Theme Park Worldwide said that there's a quiz. So I have a feeling Dan's right. I think it's going to be theme park related. Maybe like to do with our content throughout the year perhaps. Oh my God, I should do a quiz at the end of the year. Oh my god, guys, do you think I should do a quiz next year at the end of 2024? But what? In what video did oh, drop me Mama out. G whatever? Mo. How about what type of vi what video is my saying if you go to a bargain shop and you don't pick up your drinks, what are you doing? Okay, fair dues. <gasps> oh my god, I'm doing a quiz next year, guys. <laughs> I feel like I need to diarise that in my content schedule already. The quiz of 2024. Like 8 out of 10 cats does count, Dan. This will be the quiz of all things Shannon. What hair colour did I have this summer? What hair colour was I for Iceland? Well, Iceland was this year, but... Right. Where did I go on holiday to? Oh my god! How many questions do you think I should do, guys? I'm thinking like 50. 50? Oh. How long do you reckon me people have got? <laughs> Sorry. I'm really mad, Paul. Well, like, about the pride. 20? Oh, 24, yeah. two a month. 24 questions. That's fair. Oh my god, guys, we're doing a quiz next year. We're doing a quiz. I've got that in my head now. Look at all these new things I'm thinking of. Could you imagine if me and Mama Jay had a face off? Well, I'm not going to lie. There has been suggestions of who knows me best, you or Mama G, for me to like have random questions and to see who actually knows me. Because we have buzzers. You've not even seen the buzzers. They're like, Nino, Nino, Nino. Or blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a lot of um, videos that people think we could do as the three of us. I love it. One of you guys calls us the three, the three musketeers, and I'm like, I love that. Ha ha. Ha ha. Because normally there's a get to know me in the new year, just for any new subscribers. Then I might do a get to know me and Mama G, and then people have asked for get to know the Shannon Dan. Shannon Dan has been, the one that keeps coming to mind, everyone keeps asking, is Shannon Dan's Adventures in the Camper Van. I'm like, guys, I'll get demonetized for that. That don't sound, <laughs> that sounds like it could be on a different type of uh, social media channel. But yeah, maybe I get to know me. But you would just, like, Dan might have to wear like a mask. What's that? He'd have one of them balaclava things. Or he'd sit with his head, <laughs> the back of his head facing the camera. <laughs> But yeah, um, people are like, you know when me and mum do the £30 challenges, like who dresses me better, you or mum? I said I wouldn't mind it like if Dan went in the supermarkets or like shops whatever and picked up an outfit he would want me to be in. Because we kind of done that when we was in Sainsbury's before, weren't it? Before the grave having a little look around. Yeah. And I was like, hmm, okay. I mean, mum always stitches me up, but I don't think you would. No. You hear how his voice went then, he'd stitch me up. I come out looking oh, like a meringue or sank. A meringue? You remember the pink dress that mum got me with the pink jacket and the pink bag? No, I dress you like the queen. The queen? Yeah. One of the big old coats, hat on, give you a walking stick. Thank You'd you. You'd probably not try beating me with it. But... Guys, it is that time. However, someone <laughs> got confused with the boxes. Okay. If you've been here from day dot, this has always been the box mum gives to me. And then mum gives, well I give mum this one, 
and mum gives this one to me. When I said, oh, I said, have you got the box? I need to start packing it. She was like, oh, I forgot. She was like, I've done it back to front. I'm like, okay. <laughs> She's got her uh, matching the pyjamas we have this year. Good old Primark. Team Grinch. Yes. These were the ones that mum actually didn't get charged for. Yes, yes. <laughs> and they're actually really good because they've got cuffed bottoms and like we're short so that all comes in handy but then look she's still got her halloween slippers yeah. on <laughs> talk, talk about um different festivity seasons let's uh bring you a little into mother right so are you putting oh you're putting your hair up tidying up <laughs> she's slowly feeling a little bit i mean there has no. been a lot of well there's been a lot of cough mixture I finished the first bottle, and now um, it's just my voice is croaky. That's not stopping you swig the brandy, is it? No, I ain't had any today, actually. Have you not? No, no. I've been drinking that water. Hydration is yeah. key. Yeah. Right, so uh, it should be, this is mine, but that, yeah. that's mum's one. So we're just going to randomly pop our hands in. Let's turn your bit so you can see my look. <laughs> right, flip the lids. Or you take yours off. I literally just wrapped everything of mum's in um paper, tissue paper. So first thing for mum, coffee sachets. She always has her coffee. Canon. There, now, there we go. Well, you've got plenty right, right. of coffee. Right. Let's have a look. Oh. oh <laughs> so <laughs> these actually light up. Oh right. There's little balls in them, but I think if you if you, oh, if you yeah. chuck them, they glow. Oh, oh, well, that's all right. I'll chuck them on the jelly then. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> they glow and then I think you chuck them and they just stop after a while. Oh, right. But I thought they could be like a little disco disco light. Let's have a look. Oh, what have we got in here? Mum done the same thing <coughs> with the, the things. Oh my God, I needed this. I was saying to Dan I wanted to get a stress ball at work, but we saw one in Menkine and it was stress testicles. Oh, no, and Dan was like, that. I don't think you'll be allowed to have that in work. Look at that, guys. A stress ball. Which is a little piglet's face. Canon, you're really not focusing on anything apart from mum. Oh, I like that. Right. Doing, doing, doing. Oh. <laughs> so this was something I found on um, Etsy. But it's actually Apple Millions. They're sweets. Oh, I don't know if they're using them. <laughs> but I saw them and it's um, Grinch Poo. I thought it was just a funny little... Uh, you've been naughty, that's the scoop. So here's your bag of Grinchy Poo. Right. But they're just like a little chewy sweet. Right. Oh, I actually haven't had one of these this year. We're supposed to swing it, but I couldn't swing it. Oh, play with money and aroma car air freshener. Yes, please. I actually haven't changed my um, air freshener this year. Well, before you We've go, been a little take, bit. Yeah, yeah. Aroma. I've not seen this brand. Oh, and it clips into the. I was seeing what it was. It's not a hangy one. It's a vent one. Oh. Oh, that's cool. <coughs> Scan me aroma car. Thank you very much. So that's something to keep in your purse. Oh, like the other one. Yeah, oh, but it's then. a different version. It's a wooden version. Oh, that's what I've got in there. But so your I'll one's bigger, ain't it? Yeah, no, it's bigger. Oh, that oh, is. Oh, <laughs> so I got mum a little thing for her purse. It's a pocket hug. Peel off this token and keep it close. Send in a big hug to a wonderful mum, and it's just something that she can keep. Either you could probably, Sometimes if you had a keychain, put it through. No, but I'll be fine. And I'll lose it. Oh, okay. Because you could have that as the thing. Because that might have one in my thing. If if I'm on the bus and people are harassing me, I'll just get it out and go like that. <laughs> before I punch her in. Oh, this is cute. My Christmas bear decoration, age three plus. I mean, I am obviously a lot more. That's ah. Oh. No, but Shane, you know what I'm like when I see things with daughter, Canon, special daughter and that. Everything. Yeah. Is with daughter or Shannon. It's very hard to find Shannon though, yeah. guys. Like, my name is, if we lived in Ireland, it'd be very easy. Yeah. Which yeah. is why if I ever go to Dublin, I'm going to come back with every single thing customised Shannon Lee that I can find. Yeah, yeah. Because there will be a lot more than what we can get here. Oh, that's cute. Well, you can hang it on the tree. As I say, it? there's a space right there I can put it yeah. on there. Because I thought you have one, like the little uh, gnome with Shannon, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, we've got like all the old school ones and ones from the old um, garden centres we used to have. Hold on, you just dropped something out there. Oh, no. Oh, no. She ain't got glasses on. Mum, what I say, please? So it says, Mum, you will always be my... So you're not like a bestie. It's yeah. B-E-S-T-I-E. Yeah. But it's bestie as in best tea. It's a oh. teaspoon. Oh, well done. I won't use that. 
No. Oh, then I'll go because I like to keep things like that. Canon, it does not do anything apart from mum's face. See that, guys? Mum, you would always be my best tea. Well, Uncle Robert said, how are you doing now? You're famous. You had any autographs to give? <laughs> I said, not yet. No, no. Oh, these are funky. I feel like I need to wear these tomorrow with our Christmas dress. We're going to have a change plan, guys. Normally, we're in pyjamas all day, but I said, what we'll do... We'll have our PJs and then once we have our little wash and that, we'll put our Christmas dresses on because you guys ain't seen our Christmas yeah, are dresses. Are you cooking the thing fresh tomorrow then? Yeah, yeah, I'll cook yeah, it all oh, fresh in the mornings and then we can put our Christmas dresses How on. did the uh, thing, did you carve them into three again? No, no, I've done them, so um, I've done the sausages, there's two sets of four and then the pigs in blankets I've left out because we yeah, can just snack the on them. meat and pork pie. Mm. Yeah, pork mm. pies, mum and dad, they'll be fighting over yeah. that because he don't mind a bit of that. Oh. Sausage roll. Sausage meat, I think we're going to try a sausage roll or something, or maybe right. crumble up and do it in baguettes. Right. And then i done the beef pork in twos, because like nice big bits for Sunday roast. Alright. i done the turkey into threes. What'd you do with the gammon? The gammon i just done in two big halves, because oh, right, I thought right. one half we could use for a broth. Because there's still a big lump of uh, lamb in there, isn't there? Yeah. And with the other half, once it's defrosted, I'll cut it into the big steaks. Oh, I So okay. I thought, save cutting it into four and then faffing around, I'll just cut them into two. Oh, so you've done them all in the thing, turkey. then when they defrost the, the thing, you'll cut I'll them well cut them thingy for that. But right. as I say, like the pork and beef and that, they'll be joints and turkey for like curries or Sunday yeah. dinners. Oh, guys, these are cute. Little gingerbread earrings. So, yeah, we're actually going to get dressed tomorrow. We're actually going to put our Christmas dresses on. Right, yeah. And then we will be back in pyjamas. And King's Speech at 3 o'clock. Oh, we'll watch that. That is standard. Bath bomb. Bath bomb for mother, because as I no, say... No, I said don't buy no more of these, because we've given about 100 to the joke <laughs> shop, haven't we? <laughs> What's this? Oh, these are funky. Disco Fever Santa socks. Oh, okay. for Spencer's. Really? Yes. Because I've got your dad a pair. We never get Marks and Spencer socks. No, well, I was feeling... Was they on enough? Was they no. <laughs> I just saw them and I thought, well, perhaps you and Dad would like them. Has you got Dad the same ones as me? No, they? no, oh, I've got even reindeer ones, because for men. Did you get yourself a pair? No. Oh. We could have all had M&S socks. Never think to look in uh, m and I thought that one was a funky one. It's got a little uh, cupcake on it. Because obviously we are... Mummy's getting well ahead looking through hers. Hold on, Mother. Hold oh, on. Oh. Well, I ain't got much in mine. Not compared to yours. But, no, because yours are... All right. Some things... All right. There was one that I didn't realise the price on. When I got to the thing, I was like, mm, okay. Eyelashes. Well, just lift it. <laughs> Mum always is like... When she pops out, she'll always get me like different styles of lashes to try because my eye laws have no longer... They're no longer a label to get. So... Uh, Another one. That was a nice little candy cane one, I thought, for Mum's on her thing. What have we got? Oh, we've got more socks. Naughty and nice. Two pairs, 11 to 14 years old. I mean, I'm a little bit older than that, but... Yeah, but the lady said it's stretch. <laughs> no, you're nice. It's a size, size three. Size three to five yeah. teens. I've got diddy feet. I mean, what can I say? Diddy, diddy feet. Gingerbread. Yes. We've got the old uh, gingerbread houses to eat as well. Oh, yeah. liqueur chocolate rum. Okay. Well, I've got myself one with brandy, but I said, Dad, do you want it? Oh, yes, please. Oh, so I took it. Yeah, yeah, we can have it. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, 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 you pull him about and you're stretching. Stre so it's kind of like a stress ball, yeah, yeah. but he's a stressed person. So me and Mum clearly knew that each other was stressed. I got a stretchy Santa and every part of him stretches oh, out on that. <gasps> oh, can't be a bit of Christmas shortbread. Shortbread Teddy. Do you remember when they used to be in the garden centre, the Christmas show? Yeah. They used to be like five, six quid a box oh, for big right. ones. <laughs> oh, yeah, another glass. Well, considering you broke the yeah, last right, yeah. <laughs> Mum always gets a hand painted glass, whether it be a gin glass Thank or you, wine yeah. glass. Oh, okay, we've got a couple of scratch cards. We'll uh, scratch yeah. these after, see if I've yeah. won, if I'm lucky on the doors. Right, so you need to. This is a thing you open. So it's a candle and it says, having me as a daughter is really the only gift you need. That's right. <laughs> Bit like that thing that you bought dead with the mug. Yeah. And it's your question. Yeah, you're happy to have me as your child or daughter or something, isn't it? Didn't I get him a t-shirt and it said my favourite 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but, I'm, but I'm there's sure. a thing because if I get things, he says, make sure you wash it up and don't chip it. So all right. So I thought that can go yeah. by your TV, and it's a nice yeah. little scent as well. Uh, and I've got a couple of candles in there, so uh, can but I'm frightened. Bite? I'm frightened to burn them because you fall asleep. Yeah, we would leave them as decoration. Oh, after eight bites, I didn't know they've done little bites. And candy canes with jelly L's. She's stocking me up on sweeties, which we will have to demolish before the new year because we're both going on a health kit, guys. Right. This? So after we went to a Mr. Monet, oh, yeah. and you loved your thing, yeah. it's a little portable. You've got colouring in animals. Oh, that's all right. And colouring in flowers. And pencils. Yeah. I've oh, got mum right. a little... Um, that, that can go if I have a bigger handbag if I'm on a journey, isn't it? Yeah, well, I thought, like, yeah. it says um, it's a travel... Set relaxing with colour to help relieve stress and relax. Oh, because I've got that little thing that you got me to give me the pencils, wasn't it? So I thought, well, you know that thing? Yeah. You got that the other year and it's still in the cupboard. Right. <laughs> if mum gets a bit stressed, she can do a bit of colouring. Oh, we have a good old classic cinnamon and clove scented diffuser and tea lights. Mum's always stocking me up there, you oh, know, guys. We always have to have that. Ooh. You see what it is? Yeah, Leo. Was this, this was, expensive one? This was one. So I got my a DW home candle. Wait, is that expensive then? It's DW home. It's from HomeSense. Yeah. Which I thought it had a sticker on for something and it weren't to our paid and come out and I was like... Oh, oh no, okay. was it five pen? I thought it was six and yeah. it was more than six. But it doesn't matter. I oh, liked no. it because no, it had... Well, well tell me, how much was it? Eleven. Oh my goodness me. Was that home bargains? No, that's home sense, but it's Leo, so I thought it was home your sense, thing. But Shannon ripped you off. <laughs> it did be home, it's okay. I'll be going back there. <laughs> and then I've got one here, a gingerbread cookie. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. Shannon, that's a good one. one. Uh, Hold on, make sure there's everything out. Yeah, yeah. Christmas activity book. People yeah, but might just think that no, I'll... but there's like stickers and you can do noughts and crosses. Sure, and I'm colouring. 64 nearly. We've got to keep the uh, brain active, mother. My brain's all right. Look, you can draw. There's crosswords, colouring, and word search. You'd have to blank it out, wouldn't you? <laughs> Thank you. We have to keep that brain active. Yeah. Oh, Mary, I've got a bath fizzer, and then oh, a snow globe. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks cute. That looks like a little church in Iceland. Well, I saw it and I thought, well, that might oh, be I like that. You go back. And then what have we got here? Oh, we've got another little oil burner filled with chocolates. Santa burner. And he is filled with ho, ho, ho chocolates. And what's this? Oh, because I do the cooking. So this will definitely be going on over my dress tomorrow, guys, because I do not <coughs> want to burn my dress. Or Sorry, guys, the um, camera died. We've been yakking far too long. I said um, they should really do one with, like, Christmas sous chef. Yeah. Or me. like Christmas head chef helper. Yeah. Like Santa's little helper. <laughs> but yeah, it was quite hard this year because I was, trying was to think, right. I was trying to think what else to get you, like different bits and bobs. Yeah. Like, it's always standard. I ever normally get mum like an activity or like a crossword or a word search. Or something but the crossword and word search books I found were rubbish this year. That's why I thought, oh, that's quite funky. Yeah. 20 festive pages. <laughs> I they spot think. the difference. There's a dot to dot. Yeah, I can think that I'm five again. And I'll do that. <laughs> I did think yeah. this was a good find. Yeah, I saw yeah. this in Waterstones and I thought it was really good. I hope you didn't pay too much. It wasn't too bad. Ten pound. Eight. Oh, all right then, yeah. But I thought that is, it is obviously yeah. a travel set, but it's better than it having... It's nice, isn't it? So you've got all the different animals. Yeah. And then even on the backs of these, you could do your own doodles. Yeah. And then you've got all the flowers. And I thought to come with the pencils and that yeah, is quite yeah. nice. As mum says, if she's on a travel or if she just wants to be laying on the bed instead of scribbling in a notebook, you've got something to... Yes, I've made my bed. Now I've got the uh, presents gone, I can get the quilt out and put the pillowcases on. We can make your the bed. Names. Yeah. <laughs> I did like this, though, when I saw this. I was like, that is so going to go in. And I thought she'll end up probably lobbing him out of the window knowing mum. No, I should just think of people, won't I? <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's pop that there. I'll scratch my scratch cards off later. See? Yeah, yeah. Like you can pull Mr. Santa. Oh, right. He's very elastic. I like these. I thought these would be stress balls. Well, you can squeeze them. And then when you want to just... Look, they start flashing. <laughs> if you throw them or you get the ball thingy. All oh, right. She liked a stretchy Santa. Dan has like full view this year of like front row seat of the Christmas unboxing. 
<laughs> she opened the Grinch poo and was like, oh, I don't like that. I was like, it's sweets. Yeah, yeah. She's not going to use the um, spoon. Why not? Yeah, <laughs> Mum likes to keep that. Yeah. <laughs> but that'll come out for me. You can put your pocket one in. Yeah. There's plenty of bath bombs and stretchy centre. I said, hopefully this one don't get broke. This no. will be your best one for tomorrow when we have our back right, right. So you just pull it. So you just pull it. Mum, look what Mum actually got me. I said, we was looking at stress balls. <gasps> wow. It was a lot better than the stress testicles that I saw. Yes. <laughs> so this is helping Mum's anger management. Yeah. Actually, it's kind of like an anger management box I've got Mum this year. Stress yeah, yeah. balls. Um, activity books, colouring. You've gone from coloring. one extreme to the other, though, haven't you? You've gone from like I'm age five up to here, like I want to do somebody in. You might you've got your, yeah. <laughs> you've got your um colouring book. She looks at the activity book and says, "I'm not five. <laughs> it gives you something to do." Yeah. Sweets. She did like the candle, though. I mean, I think it is. It's a nice smell, isn't it? I thought the same was better. Having um. But I'm taking that back. You've been ripped off. I was like, excuse me. <laughs> What? Don't rip my door. There was a here. candle up itself and it was Shannon more... thought it was five pounds, it's eleven pounds. But it was a Leo one, so yeah. I was like to say, having me as a daughter is really the only gift you need. Yeah. She said she don't want to burn it though, I was like, no, it's a good message. And she got all of her bath bombs and her caffeine. And then I've got my um Christmas head chef apron. Well right. I think I did well with yours, considering the size of the box. Well, it's I'm considering you with... took the wrong box. Yeah, I, I would never have got it all in Shan. I've got a gingerbread cookie candle I've, I've said I'm, I'm not going to buy her a candle I'm never going to no, buy no, her a candle no. she's got <laughs> more than enough I, I only oh, buy yeah. the little melts from Tesco yeah no 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 no. there is a candle that I think would be very very nice we saw the perfume of it in Harrods Joe Malone Tom Ford a oh, bit uh, of peach uh, how much was that perfume? £360 oh I'll get you that the candle was £90 <laughs> how big was the candle then? That's when I move. That's if I move. Oh, right, then. That what, could be what, a moving in prison. What, it's like that, but how big? Probably about like that, by that, a Tom Ford one. Oh, right. Where's it, Harrods? Yeah. Well, I'll go out and sleep as I say, you White Company or something. Uh, oh, something oh, nice. I thought maybe Joe Malone, because she wanted the Pond with Granite Noir, didn't want it? Yeah, actually, I need to look into Joe Malone, because I actually don't have a perfume of hers. But that oh, little well, bottle I got gonna... from Home Bargains is the cheap jupe oh, bit, and that's it? the one that you love. Yeah. Fiverr. A lot better than 100 quid. And it's similar. Yeah, yeah, that's the... Oh, it smells nice. That's the copy. Uh, after eight mini bites. Oh, yeah, because I thought I won't get you a uh, jelly tops. Rum, look at your chocolates. Oh. I did have a brandy for myself. But I did. Yeah, Dad took the chocolates off of her. He was like, oh, I love them. Mom, I oh. said to him, would you like that? Oh, yes, please. Candy canes with jelly elves. So we've got plenty for the snack bowl. Is there jellies as well in there? Yeah, jelly oh. And shortbread teddies. I said I completely forgot about shortbread at Christmas. Oh. For a nice little coffee. I have naughty or nice socks for 11 to 14 year olds. But they're a size 3 to 5, so they fit me. <laughs> Lashes. We've got some snazzy earrings because we are actually going to get dressed tomorrow in our Christmas dresses. Nice. I need to find, I think I'll put my dress in the um, occasion box. I didn't change the air freshener in the car. We can do it when you go back. Oh. Yeah. So we've got what a new what I'll do, I'll sweep it out and clean it and that and check you off before you go. A new Christmas decoration. Oh, that's cute. Because Dan did the uh, screen wash, wasn't it? Yeah. But I'll check the brake and clutch M and your... socks. No. So she got Dada repair too. And glasses wipes. And, and we've got scratch man. cards. And your little men. Yeah, yeah. I oh, should have done oh, that. Right, we're going to oh, put that on the tree. Right, and we've got some uh, scratch cards to see if we're... Uh, yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Did you see Santa's bin and all the presents are put under the tree? Well, they've gone out of my room. <laughs> so I might be able to get me little quilt out there later and put the pillowcase on the quilt on. You've not even been in the back room? No. Santa's been for you. I will say. He just comes early in this house. He comes oh, from right. before. Well, where, where's all your ones gone then? I'll put them at the other side. Because oh, the bag oh. was heavy, so I thought I'd take them in for you. Oh, right, then. Well, how do, you, how do I know what's yours and... Have you kept them all separate, the big ones on the top? Yeah. Oh, so you know what's yours? Well, I don't know what's mine. I've just bought all the presents in that was in there. Well, no, then ones that are wrapped, the big ones that are wrapped, they're yours. Oh, that's so okay. you've got the bag and then you've got three or four big ones, squishy yeah. ones. I took them in. Oh, right. And then Santa's been in. You've got all yours right. by the chair because oh, I'll sit in the that's chair. that's where you normally sit yeah. in the chair. Right. What and did Dada say when you took his down? 
Or did he not play it? Has he got his tree up? I don't know. He was banging about, so I don't know if Jack the lad upstairs is banging. I said, what's that bang? Nothing. Well, did you not go in the front room? No, I just took his stuff in the kitchen. He said, put your glasses on and read this, because I can't read it about the child <laughs> And then that was it. Oh, thank you so much. Then so you don't know if he's got the Christmas tree up? Because no. I've got him two baubles. So I mean... Yeah, and I've got him one as well. Well, I hope he has got the tree Because I put St Steve on. But you've got him the nice Newcastle one, ain't you? And Dad. He better not chip them. He better not chip them. No, he won't. They're handmade of it, see? I'm no, fine. no, they won't. <laughs> I, I'm just a bit worried about that hoodie with him, though, his belly. But if it, <laughs> but if it comes to it... Because is that the year you was born? Yeah. Right, if... That's the, that's my date of birth in Roman numerals. Yeah, but if he can't get it, then obviously you'll have to say to him, well, give it to me. Can you wear it if it's too tight for Dad? Well, I didn't really want to be wearing something with my date of birth on. I know when I was born. Oh, you just got to... Oh, well, he'd just have to... Uh, he'd sling, just stretch it out. He'd just have to sling down and get it over his porch. <laughs> He's putting the weight on then. No, I, I, I was going, and all of a sudden I got through the thing and I rang him, and he went, what? I said... You sure you don't want to come to us tomorrow? No. He's happy on his own. And I'm saying, you still there? I said, yeah. We'll probably FaceTime him. Like yeah, yeah I know. But you. I said to him, you sure you... Yes. Is there football on Christmas Day? I don't know. He just does no, whatever, no, doesn't he? Christmas Day, Boxing Day there is. But there's normally that match of the day. There's like a sports quiz or so, yeah. I think, on I Christmas said, Day. I said, you're right. I said, when you get up, I said, don't start drinking. Peck away. And, yeah, 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 all right. He said, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Cut off. And I'm like, oh, he well, is quite then. capable of cooking a Christmas dinner. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think he's had a disaster last year. He was no. on FaceTime and well, said, Well, I'm right. hoping that he'll say to me, There's a big bit of turkey down there for you. <laughs> Mum, the, the freezer is filled with turkey. It don't matter. The turkey I got in was small, but it's massive. It's, I said to him, Well, you needed an extra small one then. Oh, yeah, we got cut out, we? No, well, she's just going off. We're going to put some bits. <laughs> she wants to go off with her thing now. So, um, are you having any food? Because I'm just going to put some tickets in. No, no, in. no. I'm not. I've just had some soup. Oh, you've had soup. We've got pumpkin soup in there we've got to get out as well. Oh, oh yeah, we do that next year. No, next year. We're not doing pumpkin soup next year, mother. We're no. To, 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 for the new year. All right, then, yeah. We'll run the freezers down, innit? We'll do some But we'll tickets. only do the freezers for a month. We won't stop right up now. I don't want to do all the stuff no more. We'll stop up. I want to get back in the Hello Fresh. Because we like that. Well, I'm not paying it. <laughs> you can do it. I ain't paying it. I'm going to still have mine. You and Dan can have it. I ain't going to have it. Oh, she's really... You That should. Be, you are definitely Team Grinch today. You're grouchy when you're real. Yeah, because I'm... Look her with a little pom-pom on her Because I'm never real. <laughs> you, it is normally me that gets here when they run up to Christmas. I've actually been all right, such wood. But it, it's just everybody's got it. All my friends have got it. That's probably where you've got uh, them. Right, well, stop uh... kissing their younger men. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to um, put some food in and you'll probably see this one later on can you carry your box or you get done to carry no, your box no I can carry it I'm disabled <laughs> <laughs> go on Is quiz time. He's very into the quizzes. Um, we've just turned it on, and they've said get your pen, papers. He's rum. I have the pens. I have no spare pads at the minute. I can't get to it because of the Christmas tree. So he's gone running into mum to see if they've got any um paper because he's really going to take this seriously. And this is actually a live quiz. So we're half hour late, but it was a 30 question quiz from theme park worldwide where obviously you could do it live and i was like oh, i really want to do a quiz next year and i'm thinking do i do it at like new year's eve or do we do a christmas one you got the pen and the paper no you've got the pens i've got the paper okay it's very oh, mainly to lean on okay lean on <laughs> i'll just use my ipad to lean on yeah yeah you can use that if you want pen papers is very are you ready I'm ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, finding job. We both tied on the quiz. Both got 15 out of 30. 
<laughs> I mean, it was hard. The first one was straight off about theme parks. I was like, great. Then the second was what is happening in theme parks in 2024. I was like, that's great. I don't know that either. And then it was watch a reel and do like what you see. So, yes, the food weren't too bad. Just a few snacky light bits. And I think now we're probably just going to chill. I've just gone in to check on mum. She's okay, she's got a bottle of brandy and a sandwich and she's loving life sitting in there. I was like, do you want to come in and watch anything? She was like, no. I was like, okay. So she's chilled and then I don't know, we're just going to chill yeah. for an early night. We'll see how it takes us. Yeah. Nice and cosy. It's definitely cosy. I mean, look at him. I've well and truly lost that now, guys. Well and truly lost that. Guys, everyone's chaotic. We've just been watching a uh, film. We've done the quiz. I look Dan. Dan's KO'd. I've gone into mum. She's asleep ready for Santa. So that is going to round out Christmas Eve with us for 2023. And who knows where we'll be next year. Will I still be here? Will I be at? Who knows? But I just want to say I hope you have a lovely, lovely Christmas Eve. Lovely Christmas. Whenever this goes up, I hope you had a lovely Christmas celebration. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave us a comment. What did you get up to Christmas Eve? And what was your favourite part of the vlog? And what do you think of the uh, Team Grinch PJs, eh? But take care. Stay safe as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.